hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to quickly answer one of the most asked questions in deep learning how much fast is gpu as compared to cpu when training or running the models in pytorch so stay tuned i will not only show you the speed test but also teach you how to code it yourself so before we get into the code let's just quickly understand the difference cpus are best for general purpose tasks and single threaded operations while on the other hand gpus are designed for parallel processing which makes them perfect for large matrix computation in deep learning so in this tutorial we are going to compare the speed of a simple matrix multiplication on both a cpu and a gpu using pytorch so now i'm going to write the script to do the speed experiment between cpu and gpu using pytorch so first of all we have to import the important libraries that we are going to use in this project so the first library we need is the pytorch to import this you can simply type here import torch and the second library we need is the time library so to import it you can simply type here import time next we are going to create two matrices of size 5000 cross 5000 and then we will see how much time it will take to do the matrix multiplication on cpu and then we will calculate the time like how much time it will take to do the matrix multiplication on gpu and in the end we will compare the time and we will see how much gpu is faster as compared to the cpu so first of all we have to define the matrix size just type here matrix size and the size we need is the 5000 cross 5000 so just type here 5000 and the next we have to define the device so first we are going to create our matrices on cpu and we will do the matrix multiplication on cpu so to create the matrix just type here a matrix cpu is equal to to use the tor type here tor dot rand n it will generate the matrices of random elements and we need the matrix size is 5000 cross 5000 so just pass this variable here matrix size comma matrix size and we are going to create this matrix on cpu so just define the device here device is equal to and over device is cpu so first you can define the device here device cpu is equal to torch.device and you can use the device cpu here and now you can pass this device cpu variable here and next we are going to create our second matrix on cpu just copy it and paste it here just change the name here a with b now we have two matrices and next we are going to do the matrix multiplication so before starting the matrix multiplication we have to start our timer so to start the time we can write here start time and to start our timer you can simply type here time dot time so it will start our timer and next we will do the matrix multiplication and for this you can simply write here mul this is our matrix multiplication and we are going to use the torch library just type here torch dot mm it means we are going to multiply the two torch matrices and now you have to pass your two matrices here this is our matrix a on cpu and this is our matrix b on cpu and after doing the matrix multiplication we have to end our timer so you can simply type here end time is equal to time dot time and next we are going to calculate the result time so for this you can simply type here result time and you have to subtract the end time from the start time and next we will print this time for this you can simply type here print results on cpu and you can print your result time here so this is the time it will take to do the matrix multiplication on cpu so next we are going to repeat this experiment on the gpu so for this you can simply copy this code from device and paste it here and and change this device from cpu to the gpu so just type here gpu and also change here cpu with the cuda just type here cuda and you can also print here like now we are calculating on gpu so you can write here starting gpu and you can also print here starting cpu now you have to also change and push these tensors or matrices on the gpu so change here from cpu to the gpu now our device is cuda so change here device gpu device gpu and we have to write one more thing here and this is third dot cuda dot synchronize so it will make sure that all the previous tasks are calculated before starting the timer so next we are going to copy this and paste it again before ending our time so just paste it here so it will make sure that it will do the matrix multiplication and then end over time and here you can also change here result on gpu and this is our result time so this is it next we are going to test our program just open your terminal and run this program so i'm using python 3.12 and to run this file 
I have to type here speedtest.py and press enter. As you can see here, starting CPU and the result on CPU. It will take around 0.68 second to do this matrix multiplication on CPU. And you can see that our matrix is very huge. It is of size 5000 cross 5000. But on GPU, it will take only 0.34 seconds to complete this process. And now what happens if we change our matrix size from 5000, let's suppose to 10,000. And now we will run our program again now it is doing calculation on cpu as you can see that now on cpu it took around 4.8 seconds to complete the process but while on gpu it took only 1.2 seconds to complete the matrix multiplication so for example if you have a very small size of matrices for example only 10 cross 10 so what will happen so you will see the amazing results here now cpu is taking very very less time as compared to the gpu and why it is so you have to keep in mind that not gpu is always the fastest for smaller data sets and less intensive computations cpu might be faster because of lower overhead Head. but in case of large matrix computations or complex computations gpu might be faster as compared to the cpu especially in machine learning or deep learning tasks where we have large data sets so this is it for today so if you want to learn more about pytorch you can subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the updates of the new uploads